What is up, everybody? My name is Harry, and, and welcome back to Songs and Thongs. Today, we're going to be reacting to Estes Tonner again mm -hmm. with a song called Between Fire and Water. Yes. Let's go! What's happening? This is again because we did it in a live stream. Just like so you, gonna, you know. <laughs> if you're going to look for others on the main channel... You're not going to find, find it. it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, we're excited about this. This guy uh -huh. is incredible. Crazy, crazy. He, he's phenomenal. Like, uh -huh. you put a guitar in his hand and you start drooling already. Like, he hasn't even played anything. You're just like... Ugh. It's brilliant, so yes. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this video was sponsored, though, by Terry, mm -hmm. the, UK the UK dude, dude. and he had some questions. What were the yes, questions? No, I'll, I'll ask them when we actually finish the song, because it's got to do with the song. So I'm going to yeah. ask them to you. Oh, yes. oh. oh I see. Oh, because you have to answer. The... Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. questions for Harry. Okay, okay. Yes. Is it not questions I should know beforehand so that I can pay attention? Maybe. Should I read it to you and then read it to you again? Are you going to remember if I actually read it to you? No, but at <laughs> exactly. least but it, go for it. Go All for right, it. So the first one is, um, how is his guitar mixed up? Uh, mic'd up. Oh, mic'd up, sorry. Yeah. Mic'd up for the sound. The second one is, with the power, passion and speed that he plays, how yes. come he never breaks a string? Okay. And then the third one is, what are all the pedals on the floor? Done. That you could have asked at the end. I, I, I could have you answered see, all of those at the end. Now you made me yes. make a mistake. Yes. Because I couldn't read my own handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> For your viewing pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Right, uh, we're going to jump right in. If this is the type of craziness that you enjoy watching, consider subscribing. Yes. It's free to do, and then um, you see our silly mugs every now and again. Yes. On a screen near you, <laughs> on our, or on your phone. Yes, we we're like gonna, being on your phone. We're actually going to listen to this song uh, without pausing it. Yes, because it's it's quite long. It's quite long. So um, and uh, yes, then afterwards we will answer questions, or Harry will answer questions. Yeah, I will. Yes. Let's go. There's the first answer, it's not mic'd up. It's plugged in. But I shall check more. He's Very looking dramatic. at the crowd in anticipation. Yes. Thank you. 
Tony is only getting started, I can tell you that.
my brain Whoa, just malfunctioned. That is so good. I don't like those crazy freak out sessions because there's just too much delay and echo yeah. and whatever so you can't it's just noise to me So, 
Um, all of these, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these are um, guitar pedals. That's yes. what they are. There we go. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> we know this. Well, apart from that one, that that is that a is phone, a, and that is a, a lighter. Very old phone. A very old phone. <laughs> you can still, s- I think, play Snake on. I think that's basically. Th- that's it. yes. That was yes. the game. The <laughs> game. So, um, TC Electronics Hall of Fame. I. All set at 12, that's very interesting. Um, I actually don't know what that pedal does, if I'm being brutally honest. This, I have never seen in my freaking life. I I don't know what that is. This is probably some really, really cool um, delay or reverb tank type thing. Uh, because it's got a stereo output, I'm, I'm assuming that's a, a delay or a, a reverb. Make, Freeze. Kind of makes sense. Sis Harry, no yeah, you have to no answer <laughs> what the pedals are for. No you like, idea. I don't know. I don't know. No so you could have just as well This is an them. equalizer. That's just to boost. He's you could have literally asked me the question, Terry. He's literally <laughs> only boosting the bottom end of the guitar. He's just making it a little bit okay. more bassy. That's it, and that's a tuner. So, um, yes. Yeah, Sis Harry, that sorry. Was not not much help there. I'm afraid. But um, oh, Harry, that was yes. disappointing. Yes, anyways, um, <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, the other I mean, questions. I can Google it, <laughs> but um, everybody can Google it. You should yeah, know this. I'm afraid. See, the thing is, I don't use don't, standalone yeah, pedals at all. Um, I started oh, with it, but then it, it's just a pain in the butt. It's such a pain in the butt, so um, yeah, I, I kind of moved away from that very very freaking quickly yeah um, works to have a yeah i've got a, a multi-effects that yeah. you can see right right there, there at the bottom there um i've got the line six helix and that mm-hmm. does everything i want so it just makes life easier and i don't yes carry one box Need everything's fine things. um it's a mission to set up it is. i can remember when you oh. kind of had it and then you also yeah, didn't know always, what to do with everything. Yeah, it's just no. It becomes it yeah. becomes a schlep because everything has got its own different yeah job to do. And yeah, it's just where with the others you just one oh. click and it does multiple things. Yes. Whereas here you have to freaking it's, figure no, it out. You have yeah. to dance around. It's crazy. Anyways, um, as to why or how the guitar is mic'd up, it's literally just plugged in oh. into the the actual. So it's just a normal uh, piezo pickup under the. Um, under the saddle and then that's running into the pedals and mm-hmm. that's it he doesn't have any crazy um, miking techniques or but anything but it does have a very clear sound I have to say it it's does very cool. it's just it's for me there's way too much delay and delay reverb that I get. Um, yeah. it's just too much for a classical like, guitar in any case yeah because especially when you've got like really nice picking going on it's like there's there's so many notes still catching up that it starts getting messy to me like as pretty as this is it was extremely messy because it was just too much reverb and delay for me for my personal taste you know um i yeah and it's it's just too much it's just like there's too much happening um on the processing side of things that i'm like you know there's parts where you're just like but you can't actually hear what you're doing and i'm sure it sounds better there maybe like that, that could, could be, be. I, I don't know um, but the recording of it, I'm like, it's, it's like it's just too much, it's too loud, so it's just like, ugh, it's a little bit muddy. Um, then, with regards to why he doesn't break any strings, um, there is a plethora of reasons. Number one, um, you know, if you try and drift the cheapest car on the road, you're going to end up with problems. If you try and drift you know, a car that was specifically made for drifting, it's going to work out better. Mm-hmm. Same thing, like, if you use entry-level basic strings, you're going to snap them continuously. If you take out ludicrous amounts of money, you get strings, like um, classic guitar strings, that go up to like $70 a pack or whatever. It's ridiculous. And he uses incredible strings, and he keeps them fresh. He doesn't, you know, he's not going to play you know, months on end using one single pack of strings is going to swap them out. So they're just fresh. And um, there is also a thing with 
uh, the guitar setup, so all of the frets are smooth, they're not cutting into the strings, all of that. Um, all of the slots on the nut and on the back of the saddle, everything is just it's set up correctly, so nothing is adding unnecessary wear to the strings. Um, yeah, it's. I'd say those are the two main ones. It's really good strings. Well set up guitar and mm -hmm. technique. His technique. Yeah, good... It's you can play really, really hard and loud if you use the right technique. Um, and not snap strings. It it comes over time. Yeah, that yeah, would be. Great. No, he's freaking he's, phenomenal. He's really good. He really, really, really is. Really is. <laughs> That's that was it. That's cool. It's very nice. Yeah. Like, he's got a. He really does have, like Terry said, like that passion when he plays. Oh, like, yes. you can see it. He's got this dramatic vibe about him. Um, but it is cool. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got definitely. Its, no, definitely that's a vibe. It's got its place. Like, yes. you, know, you can respect that. Yeah, this is not something you're going to play in the car. I definitely not. Like you get what I'm saying? Um, no. But in but that it is scenario, some, yes, ooh, absolutely. It's something it's that perfect. you can appreciate when you actually see it. Oh, and yes. that's what it's made for. It is yes, yes, yes. Go and, like, perfect. Watch him play. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thanks, Terry. Terry. Really appreciate it. Yep. That was fun. And um, yeah, we're going to get out of here. Uh, remember to subscribe if you want. And um, we'll catch you in the next video. For sure. Love you all. Peace out. Cheers.